see this pretty pink flower i used it in my last project how did i make it let's start then hello all hope all of you are fine and well and today i'm going to make this pretty pink flower that i've already used on the bottle i had decorated last time so the measurements of these petals are 2 into 2.5 cm because the width of the ribbon is 2.5 cm and to bring it uh, to the width of 2 cm I had cut a strip out of the ribbon. Now I am going to cut the petals and this time I am going to cut pointed petals. I mean the shape would be a pointed one. Now I am going to burn the petals. First of all, secure the lower end by burning it and now uh, burn the edges and when you are burning the edges remember to hold the petal in your thumb and finger and give it a frilly look by pinching the ribbon or pinching the petal i am going to give natural creases to the petal they usually have and to do this i have twisted the ribbon again and again gave it a bit of heat with the flame and when you are going to open the petal you are going to see those creases Make 10 petals like this for the first circle and then again make 10 petals, 10 bigger petals than the first ones. The measurements are 3 into 2.5 centimeters and again make 10 petals. This way you are going to do, receive 2 circles for one flower. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would say consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon so that you can have all the latest updates of my videos. That's it, now we are going to work again. This time I am going to sew the petals and make a circle of the small petals by sewing them. Sew the rest of the petals like this. I am sewing the second circle of the petals and the technique is the same. We are sewing, going to sew this circle as we have sewn the first one. tie it or give it a knot like we have done before your two circles are ready I am tying the second circle in front of your eyes because I wanted to show how I did it. There are two circles already and uh, to stick this I am going to use hot glue. Put a dot of glue on the smaller circle and then stick it to the larger one. I am not going to make a natural center portion for the flower because I am going to use this as a decorative flower to decorate my bottle so I have opted to sew a pearl in its center instead of a natural portion maybe someday I am going to make that natural portion that natural center portion of the flower and make a perfect dahlia but this time I was in need of something else
Now give a tight knot to the flower and it's almost ready. And this is ready now, ready to use. And you can see uh, it, re it resembles the flower I've already used in the bottle. These are the same kind of flowers. Now we are going to make leaves and already I have used it, these leaves on the bottle as well. The measurements are 11 into 4 centimeters. 11 centimeters is the length of the ribbon and 4 centimeters is its width. Now fold the ribbon in half and then again fold it in half. Now cut the ribbon giving it a pointed shape. Now secure the center portion of the leaves by burning it and then I am going to burn the edges of the leaf and again give it a frilly look the same way I had given the frilly look to the petals of the flowers. Do the same with the second leaf. To give the main vein to the leaf, fold it in half and then give it a crease by burning it and with the help of the tongs. Do the same with the second leaf. To give the side veins, fold the already vertically folded leaf and burn it and then press it with tongs to give it a real sharp crease. But remember, don't burn it too much or your leaf would melt. There would be a white burnt gap there. Now twist the leaf in, from the center portion and this way you are going to have two leaves burn that edge and make two leaves the leaves are the same as I, as I have used on the bottle and this project of yours is complete so i wish you all a very nice day